What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick here back again with another video. Today we are going to be making one of the toughest videos I think I've ever made on this channel and that is going to be a black pink tier list. We are going to be ranking every single black pink song, collaboration, solo, group efforts, all of it. Now, let me tell you something. I am one of the biggest blinks on the planet. You guys know that. None of these songs I hate. None of them. Like, I really don't. So, if people are like, oh, he's not being honest. Guys, I'm a blink, okay? I love Blackpink. I think their music is fantastic. So, of course, I'm going to have a great opinion on this. But let me tell you something again, okay? If you guys disagree with where I rank songs, that's okay. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. It's an opinion. And we're all blinks here. So, if you guys want to comment down below... Um, I want to do this on another stream too with you guys where we can do it together. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys mine. So we're going to be doing a tier list of all the Blackpink songs, collaboration, souls, everything. So if you guys are new here, like this video and subscribe. Join the Andy gang. I'd love to have you guys here. Um, also, uh, what other groups, other ones you want me to do, leave it down below because I will. I love K-pop in general, of course. Blackpink's my favorite group. But yeah, also, guys, check out my Patreon I'm going to be reacting to the idol very soon because Jenny is in it. Of course, Snowdrop, everything. All that stuff is on my Patreon. Please go support me there. This is going to be tough. Now, if you guys can't see the names, um, I'm sorry. This setup is just a little bit difficult with this website. But um, I will be telling you guys the names of the song as I'm going. This is going to be very hard, okay? The first one is as if it's your last. Okay, this is one of my favorite Blackpink songs ever. I, I think I got to put it in masterpiece. I think that as if it's your last is a masterpiece. Now, this is just the song. We're not going to talk about the music video, the choreography, anything. Just the song itself. As if it's your last is a masterpiece. Okay. Next. Bet you wanna. And this is featuring Cardi B. I'm going to put it in good. Now, like you guys will see, we've got a goat tier. We've got a masterpiece tier, we've got a wonderful tier, we've got a good tier, and we've got a not for me sorry tier. There's pretty much going to be nothing in the not for me um, category. Like there's like I love Blackpink, so I'm pretty sure none of these are going to be in the not for me category, but we'll see when we get there. But um, I like Bet You Wanna. I think it's very good. But that's the thing. I think it's good. I'm not going to put it in wonderful masterpiece or goat. I think it's a good song. All right, Boombaya, okay, you already know, it's a masterpiece, okay? Boombaya is one of the songs that has been, like, in my playlist forever. Like, Boombaya is literally a goaded song. That's why I, I said goaded. It could be in the goat. No, I got to put masterpiece. You got to go with your heart. I think be, uh, Boombaya has got to be in masterpiece. This is going to be tough, guys. I'm telling you, this is very difficult for me. Oh, I love Blackpink so much, but I just, I got to be honest with all these. Crazy Over You. This is a dope song. This is wonderful. Wonderful for Crazy Over You. Um, I like the way uh, the production is in the song. Um, I, I like the, the lyricism. Uh, I like the, the overall flow. Um, I feel like the rap verses are very good in this. So I, I got to put Crazy Over You in Wonderful. Now. Do 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 the remix. It's good. I like the original better, and we'll get there. But the remix is good. Obviously, it's good. But um, I, I just it's a remix, right? Like I love the original songs better. Um, so I I gotta put it in good. Don't know what to do. Wow, this is tough. It's between goat and masterpiece for me. I think I gotta go masterpiece. Now we can change this after, right? Like, we can change where the songs are just in case maybe I'm thinking I I'm I, I didn't put it high enough or low enough. But I think Don't Know What To Do has to be in the masterpiece category. Because it's just dope. Like, this is one of the best songs that Blackpink has ever put out, in my opinion. It's good. It's very good. But it's better than the good category. <laughs> it's better than the wonderful category. Alright, do-do-do. It's in the GOAT category. 
this is the fr and again this is my opinion guys again my opinion i do appreciate the comments and everything people are gonna maybe hate me for where i put these songs but do to do is goat do to do is goat category it's the first song i ever reacted to for blackpink but it's also like one that's probably the most recognizable amongst new fans of blackpink um i've been a blink now for like five years and uh do to do has remained one of my favorite songs and i think it's goaded forever young this is a tough one this is between masterpiece and wonderful to me i think i gotta put it at the top of wonderful that might change because i love forever young and i have a special connection to that song um uh, quick story when i one of my jobs that i had um was forever uh, wasn't forever young one of the jobs that i had i was leaving the job for the last time i informed them that i was quitting and that was the song that was playing and i turned it all the way up and i just screamed the lyrics on the way home because i was like i like whatever like i'm having fun i'm listening to blackpink so i got it in wonderful but in terms of like sentimental value it probably would be a masterpiece all right now we've got a solo we have gone by miss rose Oh boy. Um it's got to be masterpiece. The lyricism, the tone of her voice. Um like all the Blackpink solos are going to be goat or masterpiece. Like these are amazing songs, right? So, I've got to put I've got to I've got to put Gone in the masterpiece category. I think that her vocals are absolutely incredible on this track, but that's that's what I got to do. Now, hope not. Oh my god, this is really tough. I got to put I got to put Hope Not in Masterpiece. The reason why I'm putting it in Masterpiece is because there's other songs in here that I'm probably going to put in Goat that are in the similar cadence of like a ballad track that I think are going to be goaded. Oh my god, this is going to be so tough. This is this is very difficult. Like this is so hard. Like this is very very difficult. How you like that? I know people are going to hate me for this. I know people are going to hate me for this, but I don't care because I'm just Oh god, am I going to do it? Guys, let me tell you something about how you like that. And we might change this later because I'm deciding whether it's masterpiece or whether it's goat. How you like that? Low key changed the culture. Like, How You Like That literally changed music. Not just K-pop, but How You Like That is a groundbreaking track. And the reason I say that is because it's like when people... like How You Like That came out during people starting to like... In North America, really give um, more props to K-pop. And I think How You Like That was one of those songs that like kicked in the door. Like, actually. So, I gotta put that there. Ice Cream is in Wonderful all day. I think... If it was Masterpiece, oh my god, I don't know if Bet You Wanna should be in good, but I think it should be higher than that. Well, we'll get to that, but Ice Cream, I, I love the song, I love the collaboration, um, but I just, I think the beat and, and just the whole song, like, it just sounds so good. So I gotta put it there, I gotta put it there. Alright, Kick It, this is easy, this is a Masterpiece. Um, yeah, I Kick It's Masterpiece. Kick It is undeniably masterpiece this is like a criminally underrated blackpink song like this is one of the best blackpink songs ever in my opinion and it low-key could be in the goat category um kill this love again this is easy this is also a masterpiece just a masterpiece um kill this love is again one of those songs that i love listening to it's got really hard bass it's got really like energetic attitude in the song uh, I just, I don't think it can be in the GOAT category because I just, I think it's a masterpiece and I just don't think it's at GOAT. And again, I'm going to keep reminding you guys, this is my opinion. I'm not saying this is like guaranteed what everybody thinks. This one's going to piss people off. Kiss and make up. I've got it in good. Now, the reason why is because this is a Blackpink tier maker. Blackpink isn't in the entirety of Kiss and make up. The remix, by the way, it's a remix. And again, I like blackpink being a part of this track and i think that they do a good job but like they don't fully get to show 
black pink you know what i mean so i got kiss and makeup in the good category and by the way good is still songs that are in my playlist that i play all the time and i scream the lyrics good is is good like it's a good song like i would recommend it to people now here we go another solo lalisa are you guys ready for this it's in the goat category okay lalisa is dope and Rose fans are going to be like solo fans are going to be really upset with me. Don't worry. There's a goat song going into the goat category. That's a Rose solo. Every member of Blackpink has a goat solo song and you're going to hear it throughout this video. And if you don't believe me, then you can click off the video. They all have a goaded solo track. For me, Lalisa is the goaded track. A lot of people love money. I also love money. But I think Lalisa, the impact, the way that she raps, the way that she carries herself in that song. I think Lalisa is goaded. I have to put it there. Love to Hate Me, wonderful. It's a great track. Love to Hate Me is a fantastic song. Um, again, underrated. Uh, I think Wonderful is the perfect spot um, for Love to Hate Me. Uh, just uh, incredible. Oh my God. Love Sick Girls. Ready for this? Goat. Goat. Guys, Love Sick Girls is another one of those songs to me that just, boom, kick down the door. Love Sick Girls has got some of the best instrument, uh, instrumental uh, value. It's got amazing vocals. The power in that song is incredible. Just the, the whole track in, Excel, in itself, I think it's in the goaded category. Um, it's just dope. Next, Money by Miss Lalisa. It's in the masterpiece category. I was obviously in between Money and Lalisa for GOAT, but I, I had to put Lalisa there. I think it's goaded. But Money um, has that fierce attitude, has the rap, has the beat, has everything going for it. I just think Lalisa's better, in my opinion. Again, it's just my opinion. Don't need to get upset about it. Now, the next song, On the Ground by Miss Rose. It's in the GOAT category. It's in the GOAT category. I know people are going to get upset with this one. I don't think people like people don't like on the ground as as their favorite Rose song. I think it is undeniably her best track. The 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 feeling that I get when I listen to this song is different. It hits different. I love on the ground. I have a personal connection to it. It's a beautiful song. I love her vocals during this. Just my opinion. Now, playing with fire. You guys already know where I'm putting this. It's in the GOAT category. This is my favorite Blackpink song ever. And I think a lot of people need to understand that I think this is the greatest Blackpink song to ever release. That's my opinion. But I think it's literally the greatest Blackpink song to ever release. Uh, playing with Fire is fantastic. Uh, I absolutely love Playing with Fire. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully they have another song that sounds like that in the near future. Because I love that song. Pretty Savage. Oh my god, it's got to go in masterpiece. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you can't have so many masterpieces. Watch me. The, all of these could be masterpiece, but I'm being picky. If I had to separate them, this is how I'm separating them. If it was up to me, they're all in the GOAT or masterpiece category because Blackpink is indeed the revolution. And I'm a blink, so I, I'm, I'm just saying. I think that Pretty Savage could be in the GOAT category, which all of them could. But Pretty Savage is exactly what the title says. It's Pretty Savage. They're showing that savage side to them. They're showing the absolute fun that they have on this track. And, I, and it's it's there. All right. Ready for Love is in the good category. Now, I think Ready for Love is a great song. Don't get me wrong. But I just don't think that it was released the right way. I don't think it was released the right way. I don't think it hits the same as some of the other songs do. Um, I actually do enjoy the song, though. I really do like Ready for Love. Um, I think it could be in the wonderful category, but I have to put it in good just because that's just my opinion of the track. Really? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Really is masterpiece. Uh, really is fantastic. Really is just absolutely fantastic. Um their vocals, uh, the cuteness of the song, the fun that you can hear them having recording this one. Um, it's just it's just that pink side, like that nice side to black pink. You know what I mean? It's not their pretty savage era. It's their pink, like cute, you know, what do you call that? Ego, like ego, like 
it's that side, right? So I love that song. See you later. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh man, people are wonderful, wonderful. I got it in wonderful. See you later is a great track, but for my opinion, I think it's wonderful. And I can't believe I'm gonna. I'm, there's gonna be comments that are like, "Why did you put it in wonderful, guys?" Wonderful is like really freaking good. Like good is already amazing, and then it goes higher than that. So don't be upset. I love all of these songs, but um, cause I already know the hate that I'm gonna get even for putting songs in good. But um, I I love. I love See You Later. Um, I, I think it's a great track. So this next one, So Hot, the Blackpink cover. Guys, I, you guys are going to, you guys might hate me for this one. It's a masterpiece. If you guys know me, this was one of the first songs that I reacted to. And I, at first I thought it was their song because <laughs> uh, I was, uh, I just didn't know, right? Um this is a dope, dope cover by Blackpink. We the only game to run the game in high heels. Like, bro, come on. A little bit of pack with a little bit of pick. And then a little like this. Been living this big. Your crib can fit in my crib. Pretty as shh. Don't got to say it no more. Come on. Like, bro, don't even get me started. Put that pop. Oh, my God. Put that pop back at the top. Yeah. Had the shot. Keep the swagger. Oh, guys, I'm not going to keep going, bro. That's... You guys get it. All right. Solo. It's in GOAT. Solo by Jenny is in GOAT. Um, oh, is you and me in this? Ooh, you and me. Technically, it's not a release yet, so it's not in there. But still, Solo's in GOAT. You guys already know. Jenny snapped on Solo. Like, this is this is one of the best solo tracks in K-pop. So, I have to put it there. Sour Candy, it's good. And I hate to do that because I love, love... Oh, by the way, I need to get back to Solo for a second. Solo is another groundbreaking track. I'm, I needed to say that. The rapping and singing on that song, perfect. Absolutely perfect. The choreo, we can't talk too much about it because it's not part of it. But damn, if we're ranking choreo... By the way, recommend down below. Should I rank all of the Blackpink choreo? Because you guys know I love that. But yeah, so getting back to it. Sour Candy is in good... Blackpink wasn't in a lot of this song, so I can't exactly put it higher. I love the song. I actually tr was trending on YouTube for my reaction to this song. Um, but I love Sour Candy. I love Lady Gaga. Shout out Lady Gaga. One of the best artists of this generation, maybe even of all time. Um, but I just, I, I have to put it in good. Stay. Don't even, don't even got to talk about it. Stay is in goat. Stay is a goaded song. Stay is one of the best, like, calm presence, um, you know, slow ballad, like, in your feelings tracks in music. Not just in K-pop, not just for Blackpink. So, I got to put it there. Um, this is Whistle the Remix. Um, so, I've got to put it in good as well. I'm not a, not huge on all the remixes and stuff. Like, I know what the remix is and it's good. Uh, but if we're talking Whistle... It's goat. Whistle's in the goat uh, ta uh, category. Um, I love Whistle. I think it's one of the best goat songs. Guys, I'm sorry. I got to make a change. As if it's your last is in goat too. I, I can't believe I didn't put that in goat. I couldn't wait any longer. As if it's your last is in goat. Uh, Whistle's in goat. You could even say Boom by Oz in goat. But I, I want to be careful. Because I want to put the songs in my opinion. Right? Um, I, <sighs> Whistle's goaded. It's one of the songs that, like, again, most, like, Blackpink songs would, uh, Blackpink fans would, like, recognize as one of the first songs that they listen to. So, yeah, it's, it's GOAT. Now, you never know. Oh, man, this is tough. This is my favorite song on the album. But I have to put it in Masterpiece. I think it's a Masterpiece. If I'm giving my honest opinion, I think it's a beautiful song. Again, the girls are so freaking emotionally charged on this song like their vocals everything is so nice the 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 rapping like like the the very small not rapping i like but like the pace of you never know it, it's you guys get it. it it's like they have like these sections of the song where it's like you can tell like lisa and, and jenny are like giving their little rap uh flavor to it you know what i'm talking about 
um, like those little small pockets, but it's more of like a singing rap. So uh, that's what I like about that song. Pink Venom, Masterpiece. Pink Venom is in Masterpiece. Um, so again, I don't got to say too much about this, but like just the, the hard hitting of it, the rap, um, the, the vocal ability in this track. Everybody is so damn good on this one. Pink Venom, Masterpiece. Type of girl. I'm the type of girl that make you forget that you got a type. Um, wonderful. I want to put it in masterpiece, but I got to go. Oh, man. I got I to gotta put it in wonderful. I think it's wonderful. Um, type of girl, again, they snap. They, they go on there and they give their all. They give that attitude. They, they give a bit of everything. I'm um, sorry. My phone is going crazy right now. Um, I love that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah is... Ooh, is it good? I got to put it in good. I, I love the song. Don't get me wrong. But um, I, in my opinion, like I, li I love listening to it. Like if it comes out in my shuffle, I'm not skipping it. But it's, it's in the good category. And good is because I love the song. <laughs> That's why there's not any and not for me. Because all of these are for me. I love all these songs. So uh, hard to love. Another role, role A solo. I almost said Rose, Rose Low or something. Hard to Love is in Wonderful. Wonderful track. Um, it's just, if I'm talking solos, um, this one is my least favorite out of the three. Uh, but that's not, excuse me, that's not because it's not good because I literally put it in Wonderful. I love this song. I listen to it all the time. It's just not my favorite solo one from, from Rose uh, specifically. Um Man, but do I want it in Masterpiece? Huh. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it in Wonderful. Happiest Girl is also in Wonderful. I love I love the way that they convey their emotions on this one. But if I'm going to compare, compare it to like You Never Know and like Hope Not, which Hope Not could be in GOAT category, by the way. Um, I, I just think Happiest Girl is perfect in Wonderful. Tally. Ooh. Tally is also wonderful. Mm. Yeah, Tally's wonderful for now. Tally isn't wonderful for now because it could be a masterpiece. Uh no, it's in it's in masterpiece. The reason why I'm saying that is because this song also is a little bit groundbreaking. This is this is that like very like in your face, um, like swearing a little bit, like giving a little bit more attitude on a song. Like a lot of groups don't really do that. Um, and I think that Blackpink did a great job on this song and basically being like, yo, we can do whatever we want. So it's got to be in there. Now, we know Shutdown's a masterpiece. Don't even get me started. Shutdown's a masterpiece. Um, just an amazing song. Shutdown is one of those tracks that you could listen to at any time. Um, when I'm driving home from work, sometimes closer to midnight, I'm putting shutdown on with all of my windows down and my sunroof open in the summer. Shutdown will be playing. And it is. All right. Flower. It's in GOAT. I love Flower. I don't care what anybody said about all the this backlash. Um, uh, like this backlash about it not being good. Like, uh, I really don't understand. Um, like, Flower is fantastic. Like, Jisoo has this soft calm like beautiful air, like aura to her right so flower fits that perfectly like this is a like a masterpiece of song selection because jisoo needed flower like that song is made for jisoo so i i have to have it in goat um all eyes on me i I have it in wonderful for now, but I think that with more time, I think it's going to end up in masterpiece for me. All Eyes on Me is a good song, but I don't like that like they forced like an EDM song. Like it almost sounds like EDM a little bit. So now that I'm like winded, um, and of course You and Me is not on here, but I'd probably have that in wonderful as well. But again, it's not an official release yet. So if we're looking at the tiers, um... I don't know. The, like, Boombaya could be switched to GOAT. Nah, I, I think I got to keep it there. I got to be picky with my GOAT category. I love my GOAT category. There's None of those are leaving the GOAT. 
I I'm trying to think if any of these other ones should move up. I, I think that I got it right. I'm not going to lie. I think that I got it right. I think that all of these are correct. Obviously, there's none in the not for me category. Um, in the good category, it's Bet You Wanna, Do 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 Remix, Kiss and Make Up, Ready for Love, Sour Candy, Whistle Remix, and Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. The wonderful category, Forever Young, Crazy Over You, See You Later, Ice Cream, Love to Hate Me, Type of Girl, Hard to Love, Happiest Girl, All Eyes on Me, Masterpiece, Boom Ya, Hope Not, Don't Know What to Do, Gone, Kick It, See, Kick It could be in Goat, Kill This Love, Money, Pretty Savage, Really, could also be in goat so hot you never know pink venom could also be in goat tally and shut down and then in goat which in my personal opinion are the best black pink and solo tracks playing with fire do 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 how you like that as if it's your last la lisa um love sick girls on the ground solo stay whistle flower so this was long like this almost took me half an hour because this is really tough um I don't know. I want you guys to recommend if we should do this again on stream to see like what everybody thinks. Um, but let me know down below if I should do Black Pink Choreo, if should I do other groups, because I would want to do like Itzy, like G Idol, um, like Card, like all these different groups. I'd love to do that. So uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, like this video and subscribe. Join the Andy Gang. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, leave your thoughts down below. I love you guys. Peace.